What is going on? Can everyone hear me? What an absolute mare. Are we back? Are we back? Just put a yes or a no. Can you hear me? Is it working? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Right, sweet. We're back. Welcome back. Sorry, apologies. There was no watch along. Um, I was on pitch side uh, with Theo and Tom. Um, so apologies. Um, what an absolute mess of a game. Um, obviously big up to pitch side for, for inviting me on. Hopefully I'll be doing a little bit more stuff with them, but that was an absolute mess. Um, wasn't confident going into the game at all. Wasn't confident. Never, ever, ever get any luck when we go to Liverpool. But Jesus Christ, that was just absolutely shambolic. We're going to get into all of it. All I ask you to do is smash a like on the video if you haven't already. There's already 200 people in here, so make sure you do um, like the video. We're currently on 44 likes. Let's try and get that up to 100 ASAP. And let me know your thoughts on the game. Um, obviously, Tottenham lost four goals to three, which is another high scoreline game we've been in, which is just, 
it now it's just getting to the point of I just want this season to end. Like, I just want it to end. Four three. So that means in the last four games, we've conceded six, ten, twelve, fifteen goals in four games. Fifteen goals in four games. It's just not good enough. It really isn't. Like, genuinely, we are. We're just an awful team to watch. I mean, today we go one nil down in what the first, um, the first few minutes. Um, just Pedro Parra at the back sticks, not concentrating. He is just defensively. I got something stuck in my tooth. Defensively, he's absolute shambles of a player. He is absolute shambles defensively. Going forward, um, he offers us some good bits. But defensively, like genuinely now, I think we are the fifth worst team defensively in the Premier League. That's the lineup we played. Um, Forster, Davis, Dyer, Romero, Poro, Perisic, Hoiberg, Skip, Kulisewski, Son, Kane. Like, outside of Romero, right, Dyer, not good enough. Awful. Davis, average. Skip, average. Hoiberg, average. Perisic, not good enough. Poro, good attacking. Defensively, not good enough. Son, by far one of his worst seasons in recent years. Kulizewski hasn't done anything in, like, 20 games. And Harry Kane is just Harry Kane, and we know how good he is. As a lineup right now, that is an absolute joke. Like, what do you guys make of, of the lineup? Um, genuinely, like, did you have any anything to change? We have conceded fifty-seven goals. The only teams in the Premier League that have conceded more. We have conceded the same amount of goals as Leicester. As Leicester, Leicester are eighteenth in the Premier League. And we are sixth. 18, 18th in the league, and we have conceded the same amount of goals. We are literally just a front three, and that is it. That performance was absolutely spineless the first half. Like, genuinely now, we're... I mean, you people let me know. We've got Palace on Saturday. I do not think we're going to beat Crystal Palace. I will say it right now. I think we will draw to them. Right now, they are scoring goals for fun. Five against Leeds. Four against West Ham. What is it? Three against Southampton. Genuinely, we are defensively shambles. We've conceded the most goals... In the top 10. Like, you look at it right now. We've conceded 57 goals. Let's go down. Bournemouth, 64. Right? We've conceded more goals than Wolves. More goals than West Ham. More goal, the same amount of goals as Leicester. More goals than Everton. Everton. <laughs> Everton. Like, if, if, if we didn't have Harry Kane and Son, we would be absolutely fucked. R royally fucked. Genuinely. Like, but apparently, I don't know, I've gone on to Leeds United games. Apparently, we don't ha we don't need new defenders, according to some fans. Like, genuinely. Brighton, Brighton are going to go above us, which means we're going to be in seventh. I said the other day, don't be surprised if we finish ninth. And people laughed at me and called me deluded. Like, it is absolutely criminal how bad we are defensively. Absolutely criminal. Look, there's nearly 300 people in here already. Big up to everyone who's tuning in. Um, please please give the video a like and subscribe if you're new. We're very, 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 very close to 11K. Currently, I'm going to be shameless. We are currently... 39 subs off of 11K. And currently, we're on 65 likes, you tight people. Give the video a like. Um, um, let's put that out there. 
Um, yeah, like I said, if you just tuning in, apologies, there was no live stream. Um, I was on pitch side with with uh, Theo Baker and um, the lads, um, but currently that puts us down to six. Villa are going to finish above us, and Brighton are going to finish above us. I think we'll finish eighth. We've still got to play Villa too, and at the moment, I don't feel like we're going to go and win there. Like honestly, it's oh man. So the first goal, ball gets whipped in, and Pod por- Porridge, Porridge Pe- Pedro Porro, Jesus Christ, Pedro Porro at the back sticks, marking absolutely no one. I don't know what he's doing. And what was it? Is it Curtis Jones who scored? Was it Curtis Jones? I can't even remember. Was it Curtis Jones? Yeah. Curtis Jones scores in the second minute. Like, Jesus Christ. Then we're 2-0 down from Diaz. Right? And then we're 3-0 down from a Salah penalty. 3-0 down in... 15 minutes. Like, when are these players actually going to do, like, do you think the, like, as as good as Liverpool were in the first 15 minutes, and they were very good, they deserve to be, um, they deserve to be freeing him up because they were devastatingly good. And I didn't think for a minute would go and win that, right, that game. But were Liverpool just excellent or are we just that bad? Because currently, right now, we have conceded the most goals of any team in the last four games. And we've still got... We've still got Brentford, Palace, Villa. Like... Let's have a look. Crystal Palace... Yeah, Crystal Palace are 11th, Brentford are 9th, Villa are 7th, and Leeds are 16th. Like, it's just not looking good, is it? We are so bad. And then we get a bit of, a bit of, um, we get back into, Ollie Skip, by the way, Ollie Skip should have been sent off. That was an absolute, I mean, he could have broken, he could have broken, uh, uh, who's it, Diaz's leg, but also, um, the Liverpool player who kicked Skip in the head should have been sent off, Jota. So it's just not looking good. Like I just, I just, oh, it's so so frustrating. And then we get a goal back. Harry Kane, of course, gets another goal at Anfield. Um, you know, great finish. Skip actually started that attack. Um, then Human Son, we get a second. Great finish. And then the third, Richie comes off the bench. But to get back, to get three goals back in it is, um, but like you, you have to give Ryan Mason credit for, um, for, you know, not giving up and 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 trying to get something out of the game. But to go and concede the next minute is absolutely embarrassing. Every single week now, there is lack of concentration, there is constant mistakes, there is terrible decisions being made every single week. Now, you can blame Conte, you can blame Nuno, you can blame Jose, you can blame Mason. At the end of the day, these players just are not good enough for what we want to be. And if we give players like Dyer and players like Davis and players like Sanchez new contracts, that we deserve to be where we are. Because right now, these players just aren't good enough. Like, they're just not good, good enough. If you take out, if you take out that Brighton win, which I strongly, I strongly think Brighton were robbed that game. That means the last actual win we've had was on the 11th of March against Nottingham Forest. Since then, we bottled a two-goal lead against Southampton. We couldn't beat 10 men Everton. We robbed Brighton of three points. We lost that home to Bournemouth. We then got absolutely humiliated by Newcastle. 
since Mason's come in, yeah, we've shown a bit of fight. We should have took our chances in the second half and got something against Man United. And we've just had another Spursy moment. And, like, couldn't beat Liverpool. So, currently, right now, we're four games without a win. Three defeats and a draw in our last four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One win in our last seven games. It's relegation form. It's absolutely relegation form. Crystal Palace on Saturday. Like, it's just, it's just not good enough. Like, th- these players just, they're just not, they're just not at the standard, are they? Like, performance wise, that first half, how. In the last, okay, when did Man United score against us? Was what was it? The twentieth minute. The twentieth minute was it? Hang on, Man United. Obviously, they they had a good result today, beating uh, Aston Villa. Um. Okay, we conceded in the seventh minute against Man United, in the fiftieth second against Newcastle, and two minutes against Liverpool. Why can't we go through the first fifteen minutes of a game and actually? see out the first 15 minutes. Like, we are so, so bad at game management. Like, what, what do you what do you not think? Let, let me know in the chat. And while you're down there, make sure you give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to go through a load of your comments in literally a couple of minutes. Well, not even that, like five seconds. Henry, do the pigeon dance. Absolutely not. Henry, of course, those three players will get new contracts because Levy simply wants as much as money. Oh, also, we've got to talk about Lucas Moura. This absolute bonehead. The ball's coming down. In what mind? How? Right. In what mind do you pass the ball back to a defender? Just put the ball in Rose End and we get a point at Anfield. Every single time we play at Liverpool, as I said on the podcast with the guys, with, with Theo and, and Tom um, and Lewis, every single time we play Liverpool, something always goes against us. Champions League, fi- Champions League um, final where there's the handball. Um, T- Toby Alderweireld's own goal. Robert, Bobby Firmino's last minute header. Last year, Luis Diaz deflected goal. This year, Lucas Moura being an absolute bonehead. Like, something always goes wrong. Always goes wrong. And the issue we've got is, um, we just don't, we just don't, we just don't have any, Oh, I don't know, man. It's just constant. It's constant. I just want this season to end. It is just constant. Every single season, it's constant. And it only changes if we if we protest and we take action against this club because some of the decisions off the pitch and on the pitch, it's just not at the standard. It's not at the standard. Like, let's get through some of your comments. Uh, you should have seen Mason dude cry going off the field. Pure anger and pure disappointment. I'm not surprised. Off topic, but you should do a FIFA credit club. Um, I'm thinking about uh, bringing that to the channel. Henry, show me the badge. Yeah, something we're never going to be in. in a, it, we're not going to be in in many years. I was gas when Richie scored. Yeah, me too. If you don't know, get to know. Back to you, Henry. Oh. Uh, Stel says, you... no, I'm, I'm not going to go live um, a huge amount of time tonight, Stel. I'm just probably just going to do a little 40 minutes, something like that. Um, um, 
Conte said it all in his rant, finally lost his temper and then uh, laid it bare. The issues are deep and years old. And that's the problem. Uh, Henry, where, uh, where were you this afternoon? I look forward to your lives. I had to go stalk you on social media. No, I was um, I was invited on to the pitch pitch side podcast um, to do the watch along, uh, which was really good. So make sure you go check that out. Uh, it was Theo Baker and Tom Garrett. Um, yeah, it was good. Obviously, apart from the result. Uh, good to see you, Henry. Please take a break from this club, mate. Yeah, if you want to find out about the process, make sure you contact Still. Um, so what's it, Get Leon? <laughs> I doubt he's free, but we're not going to do a huge amount of time. Uh, Spurs could see how many... Uh, Spurs could see how many nil nils at half time in the squad had. It was a pattern from them. We, we just... We just... We're just a walking laughing stop. Like, I'm going to show you the last seven results. Look at these fixtures. Make sure you have liked the video as well. Come on, let's get it up to 200 now. We're on 124. Let's get up to 200 ASAP. So make sure you're down below. Make sure you've subscribed. Look at those results. Three goals conceded against bottom of the league is unacceptable. Everton won, Tottenham won. Couldn't break down 10 men, Everton. 2 1 against Brighton, which we literally robbed them of three points. Lose at home to Bournemouth, who also scored three goals against us. Get absolutely embarrassed and humiliated by Newcastle, conceded six. The second fastest Premier League team to concede five goals. Fight back against Man United. And didn't get the result. And then today, an absolute Spursy moment for Lucas Moura. Like, it's just absolute dross. In those seven games, you can see the three, four, five, eight. 10, 14, 20 goals in seven games. And that is right, isn't it? Three, four, five, eight, 14, 16, 20. Yeah, 20 goals conceded in seven games. That is more than three goals a game. No, just un around three goals a game. And let's not and let's be honest. Let's be completely honest here. We could get battered by Aston Villa as well. Like it's just not good enough. I mean I've just been tagged in saying what is this? Is that Eric Dyer? Jesus Christ. Oh, mate. It's just... Twitter is just absolutely... Berserk at the moment. I mean, what, what, I mean, what do you guys think? Like... Um, what, what, do you, what do you guys make of it? Where, where do we go from here? Like... Uh, David B, will there be a Spurs? No, it's not going to do the Spurs coin anymore going forward. Um, it's not that I just, not that I just, it's not that I dislike, I still get on with all the guys. It's just, it's just very time consuming in the evening. And on a Thursday when there's Europa League, uh, Conference League, and on a Sunday, you know, it's just very time consuming. Uh, Henry, when was the last time we played well for 90 minutes? <sighs> Uh, when was the last time we played well for 90 minutes? Nottingham Forest? Probably Nottingham Forest. Probably Nottingham Forest. That is how bad it is. Like, it's laughable. 
absolutely laughable. And the, the problem is nothing. Why did we start so badly? Because our defence is absolute cheeks. Henry, this team's coming on. I've said that. Yeah, maybe see you at home, which is when? February? So we haven't played well in two months. Sky Sports Premier League. By the way, Perisic, for that first goal, put Virgil van Disney on his backside. Can we just... Someone just tagged me in that. Perisic just absolutely destroyed Van Dyke. And it's a great finish from Harry Kane. Who gets his 25th goal of the season. Yeah, Virgil van Disney on his backside. Um, my professor is a Liverpool fan and he knows I'm a diehard Titan fan. Can't wait to see him smirking at me in the morning. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Mason is the guy, Henry. He's proper Spursy. He's passionate and he'll get the best out of Harry. No chance. It doesn't matter. He slipped. He should, should be on his feet more. Like. Someone just tagged me and sank. Oh, my God. Look at the state of this. This is supposed to be the best centre-back the Premier League's ever seen. Look at that. That is apparently supposed to be the best Premier League centre-back of all time. No chance. He looks like he's trying to do a backflip. Anyway, it's just... I mean, Liverpool got the win. Virgil van Disney. Um, like, we've got some tough games coming up. I'm surprised I'm actually this calm. But Lucas Moura is just... Has he come out and said anything? Lucas Moura come out and said anything? Let's have a look. Ryan Mason will shoot up the pecking order of Tottenham managerial candidates if oversees, if he oversees an improvement in the final weeks. You have got to be joking. This can't be legit. Why? Why? We've just seen today that nothing's changed. Oh, that tea is roasting. Ryan Mason will shoot up the pecking order of Tottenham managerial candidates if he oversees an improvement in the final weeks of the season. Jesus Christ. What are we doing? What are we actually doing as a football club? Let's see what else has been tweeted out. How this, by the way, is not a red card, is literally corruption. If I did that to someone on the street, I would be arrested. That is an absolute joke. Oh, that's not sent off. Gary Neville might as well set up a direct debit to the fans. What is he talking about? What has Gary Neville been talking about? Might as well set up a direct debit to the fans. Tottenham scouts were at Strasbourg versus Olympique Lyon yesterday. Oh, I wanted to touch base on this as well. I wanted to touch base on this. Harry Kane. Oh, refund. Oh, you're right. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Harry Kane is open to seeing out his Tottenham contract as one of his opposition. Of one of, do you know, I can't read or talk. One of his options. I mean... 
Does it, does it, be honest, is anyone actually playing Harry Kane? He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Thank you very much for your service, Harry Kane. Thank you very much for your service. He's gone. No way is Harry Kane staying at this football club. No chance. No way. Is Harry Kane staying at this football club? He's gone. Check out Jacob Cat's tweets. It's probably going to be something about Ryan Mason, isn't it? And it would, it would frustrate me. So, um, let's have a look here. What has the Spurs will put out? One of the cleanest red cards I've seen on a football pitch. We need an explanation. Ryan Mason just cannot understand why Diego Jota's challenge didn't end up with a Liverpool attacker receiving a red card. That is an absolute joke how that wasn't a red card. I agree. Harry Kane has said, we deserve to be where we are. See you later. Thank you very much for your service. But it, there is no way we're keeping him. No way. Anything else to talk about? Big up, BT. Let's just click the like button. Come on, we have... Come on, let's get 250 likes. There's 430 in the building. Let's get it to 250. If you're down below, please, please give the video a like. It takes two seconds. Go downstairs, press the thumbs up. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. As it stands, we are currently 33 subs off 11K. So if you haven't already, please do drop a like and subscribe if you are new. Without Harry's goals, you'd be as bad as Chelsea. I agree. Um, for a team to always show up when we when they are losing, there's no desire to win initially. I agree. Noah says, let's get the man to 11k. Yeah, big up, Nah. Let's uh, come with 33 subs away. So if you're down below and you haven't already, please do give the video a like. And currently, uh, we're on 191 likes. So let's try and get that to 250. If you're down below, it is free to do. It helps the video out massively and the channel. So please do give the video a like. Um, um, What did I was going to talk about something and I have just completely forgot. Eight goals in six games for Oliver Iro in Tottenham. When you score three goals away at Anfield, come back into the game like we did and not get anything, not get sank out, it's hard to explain. Ari, mate, our defence sucks. Is anyone surprised? Genuinely. Genuinely. Like, we, we, we're just... We're just... I mean... I mean... Right, don't get me wrong, Lucas Moura messed up. But Jesus Christ, the amount of stick this guy's getting is just not justified. I mean, he is getting absolute pelters, by the way, which I do not agree with. We lost that game in the first 15 minutes. It's like every game. 1-0 down against Man United after seven minutes. 1-0 down against Newcastle after 50 seconds. 3-0 down at Newcastle in 10 minutes. 3-0 down against Liverpool in 15 minutes. 3-0 down against Newcastle in 10. You know, we just concede early goals. If you're going up against Tottenham now, all the manager is going to be thinking is just go at them. Just go at them. Because we're... Defensively, we are absolute pathetic on every level. We are pathetic. 
And we've got Crystal Palace. We've got Aston Villa. We've got tough games coming up. Like, blaming Mason for subbing him and Levy for him still being. Lucas Moura is tweeting about G. Lucas Moura is tweeting about... What has Lucas Moura said? Um... Have a look. Just tuning in. Like I said, make sure you do subscribe. Currently, we are 32 subs away from 11K. So big up to everyone who has subscribed. Someone say Lucas Moura is tweeting again. Lucas Moura said. Ryan Mason has put, we were the better team by an absolute mile. Um, what was I going to look at? Lucas Moura. Lucas Moura. He hasn't tweeted. So, in the last two games that this guy has played, he got sent off against Michael Keane, and he just cost us. So, Lucas Moura got sent off against Everton, right? And has just cost us three points. Well, not three points, a point. Sava comes in with a donation. Big up, Sava. Make sure you go and subscribe to his channel. He's very close to 5K. Let me check how close he is. Go and subscribe to Football Editage. Football Editage. He is about 60, 50, around 60 to 70 subs away. So go and subscribe and get him over the line. Um, he would greatly appreciate that. Um, and yeah, obviously big up for the donation. Um, but let's, we're only 40 likes away from 250 now. Um, someone said... You know, um, someone said something about Dyer a minute ago. Yeah, on Dyer, we like he's just a Jesus Christ. Like, if this man gets a three year contract, we're just uh, I just don't know. I just don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I just I. Romero as well. Oh, what good centre half goes to ground when you're in the penalty area? It just doesn't happen. Why go to ground? Like so many of these players just lack the basic common sense of a footballer. The basic fundamentals to be a footballer. Just. I just I, Romero going to ground Eric Dyer's spatial awareness Pedro Porro is a right back but defensively he's woeful the ball goes into the box straight away you should be looking at like be close to your man so you can beat him in the air he's miles away you know Romero goes to ground gives away the penalty we just we just suck defensively. And that's why we have conceded the fifth most amount of goals in the Premier League. Once again, we have conceded the most goals in the top twelve. Only Bournemouth, Leeds, Forest, and Southampton have conceded more goals than us. And out of those teams, Southampton are bottom, Forest to 17th, Leeds is 16th, Bournemouth 13th. We're just so bad. We got Anna, it says, your club is bottle job FC, mate. Or Anthony, sorry. I don't know why I called you Anna. I agree that more are He's not only one to play for the loss. No, he's not. We just lack the basic fundamentals to be a football team. Skip uh, should have been sent off. Yeah, I know. 
It's like people don't remember our Argentina conceded three in the final and almost lost. Yeah. And the reason they didn't lost is because they got Lionel Messi. We're just... It's just... I don't know, people. I don't know. Like, we've got... I don't know how... We've got, what, four games left to try and regroup in the summer. I mean, next... Next season, um, we, we've got to bring in a manager. We've got to bring in, you know, a director of football. We need a new goalkeeper. We need centre-backs that can actually do their job. We need a creative midfielder. Harry Kane, what's happening with him? We have so many issues at this football club. It is unreal. It is unreal how many issues things we have wrong at this football club. And Daniel Levy is under immense pressure now. The protests are growing. More people are turning up by the week. Even if it's 20, 30, 50, we need to keep that growing. Eventually, eventually, someone has to be held accountable. Because these results, if we finish ninth this season, right, that would have mean we finished fourth last year and now we finished ninth. We have got worse. So much worse. It is unreal. Like, it's, it's laughable. It's actually laughable. You know? You could say Son and Kulu are to blame for missing good chances. Kulu hasn't been good since the World Cup. Kulu, I cannot remember the last... I think Kulusevski hasn't scored. The last game he scored was Manchester City. Which is what? 20 games ago? Big up Mbappe, James. Who would you like to come up from the championship? Luton. I'd like to see Luton go up. Unai, uh, and big up for the donation. Much appreciated. Uh, Unai Henry TV says, do you go to games, Henry? I used to go to a lot of, like most of the games, but now I just I just don't want to give this club my money. And before anyone says, I'm wearing the latest kit that was bought for me, I did not buy this. I haven't bought anything from the Spurs store. People just buy it for me as presents for like Christmas and birthdays or just as a gift. I don't spend my own money in this club shop. Like, when I took a friend to go see Nottingham Forest, for both tickets, it was like £100. Then you look at travel to the to the, to the stadium back, food, drink. It's it's absolutely ast- astonishingly expensive. Nottingham Forest, £50 to go and see Nottingham Forest. At, at, I mean, see Tottenham against Nottingham Forest. It's criminal. You know, big up Coover 99. Ryan Mason's purple and gold army taking us to the promise, promised land. It's <sighs> Jaminio says Spurs fans right over eight good so much. It's because we don't have anything else. We don't have any, we don't have any, like we just have no young prospering players. We don't have a Saka or a Foden. We've got Skip who fans think is a generational talent and he's just an average midfielder. Like, if Skip went to Crystal Palace, is he their best midfielder? Probably not. If he goes to Everton, is he their best midfielder? Probably not. If he goes to Wolves, is he their best midfielder? Probably not. If he goes to Southampton, is he their best midfielder? Probably not. If he goes to West Ham, is he their best midfielder? Probably, no, uh, just not. He's not better than Declan Rice. If he goes to Leicester, is he their best midfielder? Probably not. We need to actually calm down in how much we rate players. Because as soon as we get a good player, it's, oh, he's a generational talent. Like, is he? Or do we have all the rest of our players absolute dross and we're just cheering on the one player that we actually have? Um... No, like, I just think, I just think we genuinely just overrate players so much. 
Like, we just think that every player is elite when that's just not the case. We got Perchy. Make sure you subscribe to Perchy's channel as well, people. I mean, let's be honest. Right now, right now, is name a team in the Premier League that Ollie Skip starts for. Right now. Does he start for Southampton? Over Lavia, Ward Prowse. I don't I don't actually know. Does he start at Southampton? Big up uh, BT says make sure you smash the like. Come on, people, we're, up. we're 30 likes off of 250. So if we get that, that'd be great. Do you know what? There's 400. We should be able to hit 300 likes. There's 400 people here. I know the wrong guy is is Hoiberg, who is absolutely awful. This guy is so overrated by fans. He is atrocious. He is just an awful footballer. An awful footballer. Like, I don't get what this guy does. He has no spatial awareness. He's got okay range of passing. He lacks basic football intelligence of how to mark a player and tackle a player. He just beats on his chest thinking that he's a Viking when he's not. He can't even he can't even put a slide tackle in at times. He's terrible. But our fans act like he is the second coming of Christ. I've just got tea all over me. He just... I, I, don't, I don't rate Hoiberg. I mean, let me know down below. Just put a simple yes or a simple no. Do you rate Hoiberg? Just put yes or no. I mean, people call him the Viking. How? How is this guy a Viking? Like, it, be honest. How the fuck is Hoiberg a Viking? Like, yeah, okay. He, he scored a goal which got us through to the Champions League. And yes, I fell off my chair. But this guy is absolutely awful. That's he. Look what we got here. We've got Milky Way Magic Stars. If you want to sponsor the channel, Milky Way, that'd be fantastic. He is Norwegian. He's from Denmark. What has that got to do with the price of fish? Like, genuinely, I'm looking at other Premier League teams. I don't actually know who he starts for. Come on, people. We're 48 likes now off of 300. Uh, Jake says, when's FIFA back? That game just stresses me out too much, and I'll end up smashing the, play the, the controller out. Uh, how far can we go down the table? Well, let me get the Premier League table up. I reckon we'll finish 8th or ninth. Brighton have got two games in hand. Brighton have got to play Man United on Thursday and then Everton. If they win both them games, which is unlikely, and they've still got to play Newcastle, City and Arsenal and Villa, I but I still think they'll finish above us. Right? We are currently sat 6th. Right now, I would take Europa League. I really would take Europa League. Big up Jamie coming in for the donation. He says, I don't want to see Kudu start for the season. Listen, but you can't say that because fans just get, don't, just don't like it. I want to see Dan Juma start more. I like I love Kudusevsky, but I just think, I don't know. But let me know down below. Where, where do you think, uh, genuinely, we could finish ninth? I would take Europa League in a heartbeat looking at where we are now. I mean, we're... Man United have got two games in hand, right? And we're nine points off top four. Nine points off of top four. That is absolutely embarrassing. Embarrassing. Uh, Levy out says Henry Villa and Brighton are better than I agree. I agree. Villa, Brighton, and Brentford. 
Jesus Christ. How have we gone from playing in the Champions League to competing with Brighton and Brentford for 8th and ninth place? Like that is just, just not good enough. We're only 40 likes now, 300. Come on, 40 likes. 40 of you down below. Press the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Currently, we are 20, 27 subs now off of 11,000. That would be absolutely fantastic if we could hit that. This stream is unlikely because no one wants to hit the like button or the subscribe button. Um, but right now, how, how are we competing for Brighton and Brentford? For... We've got to play Aston Villa in a couple of games. And I'll be honest, we're probably going to get slapped there. This season, we generally could finish on a minus goal difference as well. We have lost 12 games. We have the exact same record as Aston Villa. And Aston Villa have conceded less goals than us. 15 less goals with Tyrone Mings and Ashley Young. And the only reason we've scored more goals is because of Kane and Son. Like, if you look at our top goal scorers, Tottenham's top goal scorers, it's Harry Kane and then everyone else. Premier League top scorers. Right, look at this. Obviously, Haaland. Obviously, right. There's Kane on 25, which, by the way, is an absolutely astonishing return. 28 goal contributions in 34, right? Tell me when you see the next Tottenham player. Ready? Six, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, fourteen, seventeen, twenty-two. We're not even on the first page. You can't even see a second Tottenham player on the first page of goals on the BBC website, which means our second highest goal scorer has got less than eight goals. Eze has scored more goals in the Premier League than Son. Someone say number 14. Where's Son? All right, 10. Son's on 10. So out of the out of the obvious two, who's our third highest goal scorer? So Son and Kane have scored a combined of 35 goals, right? They've scored 35 goals. Tottenham in the Premier League, Premier League. They've scored 35. Tottenham have scored 63 goals, which means Kane and Son have scored. Um, so 63 minus. Um, They have scored 52.7% of our goals this season. They've scored more than half of our entire goals this season. I don't even know who our third highest goal scorer is. I think it's Benton Cora Hoiberg. Jesus Christ. I mean, that is embarrassing that we have to rely on two players. We are only 25 likes off of 300 people. The third highest is probably Dan Juma, and he doesn't even get a start. The fact that we have had more managers than Richarlison has scored goals. But to put it into perspective, Pedro Porro has had three managers in 90 days. He's had three managers since we've been here. Do 
Jake Battlefront says, what job do you do? Always seems you looks like a... No, we don't work for Ikea. But... I mean... Oh, I don't know, people. I don't know. Just, it's just... It's just... The, the, where we are in the league at the moment is absolutely soul-destroying. It is absolutely soul-destroying. Like... I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm looking at um. I'm looking at like. Oh, it's just madness. Absolute madness. Oh, I was looking at Henry and forty. Be a good stripper, Jesus Christ. I want to be like three hundred. We're 16 away. We are going to be finishing very shortly. Um, tomorrow, Lee's going to be back on the channel at 7 p.m. Um, there'll be probably a stream around lunchtime um, and a video out tomorrow. Lots of content. Um, it is the 1st of May tomorrow as well. Um, the start of a new month. We've got four Premier League games to go. Hoiberg should be working at Ikea, that's for sure. How many away from 11k? Uh, currently, uh, 25 subs. Yeah, it's bank holiday tomorrow, so there'll be loads of content out. Um, yeah, I mean, performance today, typical Tottenham, you know, awful first half. And then, you know, yeah, it's just... Uh, It's just a nightmare. Just an absolute nightmare where the way we're performing at the moment. Uh, Henry, realistic name, name your summer transfer window. Uh, a centre back, a main centre back. I'd really like Anderson at Palace. I'd like to bring him in. Let's say we bring him in at 40 million. Um, Madison as my midfielder. I think we could get him considering he's playing at Leicester. Eze as well, another player at Palace. They're probably going to want 50 or 60 million for him. If we could bring in Eze, Madison and Anderson, I'd be over the moon with that. And then bring in another centre-back. I like De Vrij in Milan. He's like 32. Maybe you bring in... Um, I mean, this year, if we did this... And Dick Hart, Madison, Hincapi, Eze, and Kudas. And yes, I did call him Kudas. That would be an unbelievable... Do you know what? 24Z. Um, Nick, I've just seen your text. I'm not going live for, uh, for much longer. Um, I'm just responding to your text now. Um, but if we... Um, if we could have those as our window, that would be outstanding. Um, like that window would just be elite, absolutely elite. But 24Z, you're uh, big up to you, always in the chat. Um, nose ball as well, Raya as well from Brentford. Um, but yeah, people, we are going to finish up very shortly. Um, we're only 10 likes off of 300. Look, the question is, would you guys take Laporte? And if we were to sign Laporte, how much do you think it would be for? Um, how much do you think we get Laporte for? Um, 50, 40, 60, football in the library. Laporte would be a statement signing for us. I take the port in an absolute heartbeat. 35 to 40 million. No, nah, more than that. Yeah, I agree. Getting rid of our deadwood is more important. I agree. But look, we are going to finish up. Make sure you do like the video on the way up. Make sure you have subscribed to the channel. Um, currently, we are 
25 subs off 11k. Um, but yeah, smash a like on the way out. Eight likes away. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you all for tuning in. It's another loss, but it is what it is, people. We're out of here.